black board so parallelly if you write then it is like a classroom if you are sitting on a classroom in the same manner you should write fine let us discuss the next sir ya p ni je value ase e j trebuchet polynomial ni degree thase na yes whatever the value of p if p is an integer then and only then if p is not an integer then we cannot say anything but if p is an integer then the trebuchet polynomial will be there and the degree of the that trebuchet polynomial will be the degree is p now the next is uh, actually a uh, important result is there or i can say i can state as an example also solve the chebyshev polynomial or sorry equation 1 minus x square y double dash minus x y dash plus p square y equal to 0 for p greater than or equal to 0 by converting into gauss hypergeometric equation at regular singular point x is equal to 1 so how to convert any equation of such type into the gauss hypergeometric equation that we have learned in the previous one of the video or one of the lecture all right so here about the regular singular point we need to calculate what is the solution for this previously what we have discussed we have discussed the solution about the point x is equal to 0 or i can say in the neighborhood of x is equal to 0 where x is mode of x is less than 1 here we are discussing the solution of the same differential equation about the point x is equal to 1 so writing this equation into its standard form that is y double dash minus x upon 1 minus x square y dash plus x square upon 1 minus x square y equal to 0 this is the things comparing with standard equation that is y double dash plus p of x y plus q of x this q of x y equal to 0 we get p of x is equal to minus x upon 1 minus x square and q of x is equal to p square upon 1 minus x square what we can say it's about x is equal to 1 so we know that x is equal to 1 is a singular point why because this p of x and q of x are not analytic at x is equal to 1 that we can say definitely now we need to check about the regular singular point so for that it is x minus x0 p of x which will be x minus 1 into x upon 1 minus x square is there so that is minus of x upon 1 plus x is there because x minus 1 is cancel out because this has a factor 1 minus x and x 1 plus x and that minus sign goes there
an odd degree of minus sign is there so that's why it is plus because here it is a minus sign minus of x upon 1 minus x square so it is of plus sign now it is x minus 1 square into q of x so what is the value of q is this p square upon 1 minus x square so it is x minus 1 square into p square upon 1 minus x square so this will gives you 1 minus x p square upon 1 plus x 1 minus x is cancel out and I'm, I have adjust that 1 minus 1 here and we know that this both function both x into 1 minus x p of x and x minus 1 square into p of x are analytic at x is equal to 1. So, x is equal to 1 is a regular singular point. of equation 1. Note that one minus x square is 0 implies one minus x into one plus x is 0, which implies x is equal to 1 and minus 1, which will be the value of a b. This is A, B, because I want to convert this equation into the Gauss hypergeometric equation. So that's why, if you remember the Gauss hypergeometric equation, we'll have x in. We have this type of situation: x minus a, x minus b, y double dash, and then so on. And plus c x plus b y dash plus e y equal to 0. If you have the equation of this type, then we are able to convert your differential equation into that type. So if I have that one, in that situation we have a is 1, b is minus 1. So what will be the value of p we can have? Let p will be x minus a upon a minus b as per that theory which we have discussed earlier so it is x minus 1 upon minus 1 minus 1 this will be x minus 1 upon minus 2 so this is 1 minus x upon 2 which will implies x is equal to 1 minus 2 so we need to convert our differential equation into p And this will give you dt upon dx will be minus 1 by 2. If I differentiate this t with respect to x, we'll have that. So now, by chain rule, we can say dy by dx will be dy by dt into dt by dx. But dt by dx, we have sir, component of this. Uh -huh. Sir, a minus b it will be plus 2 not minus 2 x minus 1 upon plus 2 a wait a minute what will be the a a1 and b minus 1 no 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 you are uh, see here it is x minus a x minus b this is you can write down in the form of minus x square minus 1. So if I if I change that one, then this will be changed eh? because this is 1 minus x square. If I want to write down x square minus 1, then b will be minus 1 and a so it is so 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 sorry 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 this is actually in the formula it is b minus a not 
a minus a yeah it is b minus a so that's why it is minus 1 minus 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 2 plus 2 so we'll have this and hence we have this is uh, minus 1 by 2 dy by dt and d square y by dt dx square will be d by dx of minus 1 by 2 dy by dt applying the chain rule we can have minus 1 by 2 d by d square y by dt square into dt by dx so this will be 1 by 4 d square y by dx t square substituting all this value into the equation 1 So the equation was one minus x square y double dash minus x y dash plus p square y equal to zero. This was the first equation. Out chain. Yes. This is the equation. Now we substitute this value of x y dash y double. The value of x from this we have one minus two t. So that we can write down. This is one minus two t square. Y double dash is one by four y d square by d t square minus x. It is one minus two t. Y dash we have calculated as minus one by two dy by dt. So this is minus one by two dy by dt plus p square y equal to zero. You simplify this quantity. Therefore, one minus minus plus four t four t plus four t square minus four t square. If you square this, then the due to this minus sign, it is minus one plus four t minus four t square upon four is there. D square y by dt square minus one by two minus t, and this minus minus become plus. d y by d t plus p square y equal to zero. This one is get cancel out. This four is also common and get cancel. So finally, we'll have t into one minus t d square y by d t square plus one by two minus t d y by d t plus p square y equal to zero. Now. This is the differential equation we got. If I compare this differential equation with our standard Gauss hypergeometric equation, so comparing, with Gauss hypergeometric equation, what is the Gauss hypergeometric equation? T into one minus t, the square y by dt square. Plus c minus a plus b plus one t dy by dt minus a b y equal to zero. We get so this equation, this previous equation. So this quantity is the same. Instead of C, we will have one by two. Instead of a plus b plus one, we have one. So a plus b plus one will be have one. And instead of a b, we'll have minus p square. It was plus p square, so. That's why it is minus p square here. 
so c is 1 by 2 that is as it is a plus b will have zero so this will gives you a will be minus b and due to this since a is minus b this is minus a square will be minus p square so a square will be p square so either well there will be two possibilities there a is p and b is a is p plus or minus p so if a is p b will be minus p or if a is minus p then b will be plus p so any one of the value you can take here and hence we can have now a is p b is minus p and c will be 1 by 2. so according to this we can write down therefore the general solution of gauss hypergeometric equation at t equal to 0 but t equal to 0 for our equation it will be x is equal to 1 because we have replaced our or we have changed our function or equation into that situation is y equal to c1 f of a b c t plus c2 p power 1 minus c f of a minus c plus 1 b minus c plus 1 2 minus c t this is the solution now we have the value of a b and c we will substitute here so that is c1 f of p minus p 1 by 2 what will be the value of t we get the value of t due to this is 1 minus x divided by 2 so that's why it is 1 minus x divided by 2 plus c2 into 1 minus x divided by 2 raised to 1 minus c c is 1 by 2 so it is 1 minus 1 by 2 so it will be 1 by 2 f of a is p so p minus 1 by 2 plus 1 so it is plus 1 by 2 then b is minus p then value of c is 1 by 2 plus 1 so that's why it is plus 1 by 2 2 minus c c is 1 by 2 so it is 2 minus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 and the value of t is 1 minus x upon 2 so hence the solution of the given differential equation about the point x is equal to 1 will have this is as a solution the solution of this is also known if this p is an integer then also we have the Chebyshev polynomial as a solution so we'll write as a note here that is the definition actually definition of the Chebyshev polynomial I can say note that y1 is equal to f of p minus p 1 by 2 1 minus x by 2 that is the value of y1 we have calculated is a bounded when p equal to 1 that one can prove and if sorry not p equal to 1 x is equal to 1 if p is equal to n which is belongs to an natural number or i can say is that of natural number if p is, p is an integer or I can say if P is a non-negative integer then the series of Y1 
terminate after nth term and that means it become a polynomial of degree n and it is called chebyshev polynomial so this is also are called a chebyshev polynomial and it is denoted by tn of x so what is tn of x it is f of n minus n 1 by 2 1 minus x by 2 where n is an positive integer let us calculate some of the chebyshev polynomials here so remark what will be the t 0 x that is f of 0 0 1 2 1 2 x by 2 according to the this if i substitute n equal to 0 here then it is f of 0 minus 0 1 2 1 minus x by 2 what is this series as per the rule as per the summation form you know that f of a b c x is summation and running from 1 to infinity 1 plus this is 1 plus 1 to infinity a into a plus 1 up to a plus n minus 1 b into b plus 1 up to b plus n minus 1 upon n factorial into c into c plus 1 up to c plus n minus 1 into x raised to n is there so if i have a is zero that means this term will be zero all the terms will be zero only the constant term is left so that's why it is 1 so t 0 of x is 1 what is t 1 of x that is f of 1 minus 1 1 by 2 1 minus x by 2. So if I substitute that value here, that is 1 plus 1 plus the constant term is 1 as it is. Now instead of 1, you have to substitute 1. So a is 1. So only one term is there. So 1 for b is minus 1 upon 1 factorial into the value of c is 1 by 2. into 1 minus x by 2 plus the second term so a is 1 but value of b is minus 1 so if you have can see that b plus 1 here so it is minus 1 plus 1 so in that term will become 0 so the next term will become 0 and further term is also all of them are 0 so the term you will get here it is 1 plus what is the quantity left here it is 2 minus 2 and this 2 will so i can write down two step so it is minus 2 into 1 minus x by 2 and this 2 is cancel out and due to this minus multiply inside is 1 minus x plus sorry 1 minus 1 plus x and so you will have t1 of x is x similarly we can calculate or someone can calculate what is t2 of x that is f of 2 minus 2 1 by 2 1 minus x by 2 as per the definition it is 1 plus if we can see this definition then it is 2 into minus 2 upon 1 factorial into 1 by 2 into 1 minus x by 2 the second term will have 2 into 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus minus 2 into 2 plus 1 
माइनस टू इंटू माइनस टू इंटू माइनस टू प्लस वन ऑन टू फैक्टोरियल वन बाई टू इंटू वन बाई टू प्लस वन इंटू वन माइनस एक्स बाई टू स्क्वेर the further term will become zero because when you have the term like b plus 2 but the value of b is minus 2 so when we have minus 2 plus 2 that term will become zero so further all the terms we have zero so only we have this quantity left and if you simplify further this is nothing but the uh, 2 will get 1 2 is get cancel out so it is minus 4 1 minus x here this 2 will get cancel this 2 will get cancel so here you will have 3 and this minus sign is there so it is minus 3 and the denominator will have So in the numerator we got minus two because this is sorry minus three because this is three and this will become minus one and the denominator will have one by two into three by two so this three by two will get up and this two is this is due to the square this two one two is left so it is and this three will get cancelled. And this x two is cancelled here, two and one two is still left. So, so what is that quantity left? Is two into one minus x square. Further, you simplify. This is four minus four plus four x plus two into four x plus. 2x square by making a square of this. 4x is get cancelled. Further, you simplify this. So it is 2x square. 1 plus 2, 3 minus 4. It is 1. So this is the second Chebyshev polynomial we have. still there are some properties of chebyshev polynomials are left that we will discuss in the next lecture okay so we can stop here for this if you have any doubt you can ask